Uh, <laughs> the legend. The legend himself. I should have won that set against Tiger Boy, by the way. Anyways, going into... Nah, he, he outplayed me. Going into game one, between these two, we got Nixie. So much momentum. Gonna try to start this one off aggressively, but John doing what he does best. Playing back a little bit, trying to play nice and passively, just trying to wait for the Nick to come to him. But oh. what a ledge mix up! Yeah, I've yeah. never seen John I, do something so that bold. That was the boldest thing John, I was gonna say verbatim. That was the boldest thing I've seen John do. Mm -hmm. And we, so like you mentioned, beat uh, beat Louis Jesus very very recently. You know, comfortable. I think he's comfortable not respecting Wii Fit. He, he doesn't really care what numbers he's gonna do. He's gonna stick to his really hyper aggressive game plan. Try to do something uh, like kind of like nutty and out of left field to mix up numbers. He's trying to get back onto the stage. I like that Haigu Kabugu because he was able to get back on before numbers and now he's fishing. He's gone fishing. He wants nearly one knee. That's all he wants. He sees red. Yeah, and numbers kind of realizing that. Good roll. Um, knowing that uh, Nixie was going to land right there. Good reversal. Both of them just tried to cheat yeah. at the same time. Yeah, yeah they just gotta like, like get like a jump lead or something with like down air just in case John goes for like a header or something. But John actually like chose to play a little bit more passively, waiting a little tiny bit. Nick got his double jump back, but then immediately wasted it again. He is he is fighting off this ledge. Oh, and I feel like Nixie's been looking for that the whole time. Finally manages to get the dare. Uh, you know, when you fish so much, you'll eventually catch something. And this is super important, I think, getting like a nice string right here. But numbers are treating the ledge. Yeah, Nick, Nick has played this so aggressively, and wow, what an anti from, from, uh, from John. That was beautiful. Yeah, Numbers whole game has been anti is really catchy. Nick, I feel like Nick has only landed with something like either Nair one or Dare, trying to get something started, and Numbers has been catching it a bunch. Nick, he's going to have to mix it up. And Nick just keeps going through these falling down, and he's falling neutral, he's at ledge, finally finding that there, and look how much damage he was able to convert it into an amazing jump because he didn't lock himself into all of that shield stun and then was able to still get a spike. It's like making sure that your defensive options are streamlined so that you don't like, you can just do one good thing, but you could just go for the best thing. Yeah, he, it's like when he fishes for it so much, it might not look that smart, but literally he just needs one opening, it seems. Yep. Like, it, it, he's only been like a few openings this whole set. It's pretty much even. Good attempt right there. Nick's movement, everything has just been amazing. And that up smash almost connecting, which maybe could have actually taken the stock. Uh, geez. Now Numbers is going through like those air to airs, oh. right? Finding a couple of those up airs, that was so huge. That was, that was that was like Numbers saying like, hey, I know what you want. You want the stomp, you want the snare. And and he just caught him like fishing again. Yeah, that was such a like clever way to use down smash as an anti-air. Um, so, yeah, right here. Uh, yeah. Two. There, there it go. is. There it is. That that jump that jump lead is is actually everything. That's 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 it. As soon as as soon as Numbers hit this, he was like, okay, I know, I know like what you want, you only want these falling options, and now Nick with no double jump, forced to land. Look at that low profile too, yeah, that was that amazing. Was, that was really clever. I'm, I, like, you never really see, we've, I've never really seen numbers do that, honestly, like a total anti-air by ducking that low. And I mean, that's just the whole, that's why Nixie's been losing, like you said, catching jumps with the, like, the Nair and such, and uh -huh. catching these aggressive landings. Nixie's gonna have to mix it up a bit. Land away from numbers for once, you know? Yep, he keeps trying to land so aggressively and double jumping back on as well with like a lot of buttons as well. But Nick kind of, I feel like, always does that game one and then just needs to find a way to be able to hone it game two. Just find a way to be able to angle his aggression in a little bit more of a healthy manner. Just gotta cope. You gotta cope, Nick. Yeah, and if he can hone it, it'll be so huge because when he does get these openings, even if it is really telegraphed, like we were talking about, mm. absolute like exploding of numbers. So if he can just be a bit like not let himself get super red over and over, it, I can see like numbers getting steamrolled, but even game right here. Oh, tries to go for the uppie. He has a good idea, but just uh, ended up going the wrong way. And I like the idea with the back here. I believe if he wanted to hit it, he would have had to do like an instant double jump one. And right here, numbers gain this lead. Oh, this is actually, I feel like this is a free stomp. Got it sure is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got hit with like the back of the knees. Yeah. That's the job Jeez. anyways. Not a bad way to go, honestly. I'm, I'm nah. gonna be cool with that. Yeah. Some strong cheek, you know. I do know. Yeah, nice. Anyways, <laughs> Nick using uh, his upbeat to be able to make it back on and then just take stage away from the numbies. And now you see how much like numbies is forced to mix up his spacing with upbeat. He has like he doesn't do this against other people. That is how threatened he feels. 
Yeah, and that's so important to make numbers feel scared because that way he can't get his wall, like his defensive wall, super like secure. If numbers is scared, he's gonna finally have like cracks in that armor. And Nixie kind of exploding that right now. 92, a lot of momentum. He's just respecting it. He like knows what numbers is looking for. He knows numbers is options. I like that bit of patience from Nick and tries to go for it all with that down B. He has no double jump. He's over. It's over. That Falcon Kick was really creative and it almost did work. Um, Numbers barely able to stuff that out. We fits fair, really good move. Just covers so much space. And the nipple hitbox almost killing insanely low. That move is really strong for some reason. Oh, and Nick a little bit too scared. He backed off a little bit. I feel like he could have found like a down tilt. Um, had he like surely hopped and then just like drifted in slowly. But either way, the next big hit should be able to do it. That is numbers weak grabbing. And Nick still no down tilt. And right there, you saw numbers drift to the right. And Numbers has been doing that a ton, drifting away from the ledge, trying to like mix up, mix up the stomp. And right there, Nick drifted with Numbers, got that edge guard, clearly getting a bit of a read on the recoveries, which you have to do. Yeah, Nick right now just like full hopping a whole bunch, but I feel like the biggest difference is now he's like definitely mixing it up with more double jumps and sometimes just going through a lot of empty landings. So now Numbers is really, really scared, but there it is again, the jump callouts. Oh. Okay, keeping it up though. Those follow ups are so scary. Wow! That was confidence. That was confidence, and that was so deep. I, I honestly didn't even think it could hit. Nixie, obviously, knowing his character's hitbox is really well. Really high placed back air right there. That entire scenario was so good because he was so good if he was like, hitting that soft spot at the knee. Really like the late timing as well. And then, um, yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> I, well, tried yeah. To, I tried to pause it on the back air. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but right there, you saw the backer hit really high. Falcon has such a good uh, double jump that, look, yeah, to just shoot up all the way there. I feel like Numbers thought he was safe. I'm surprised Numbers didn't air dodge. I, I, think I feel he like usually he, he has that, he, he has the instinct to be like, hey, you know what? I know my spacings. I know when to actually commit to this and when not to. That time around, I didn't know it was going to hit. Numbers probably didn't know it was going to hit either. And I respect Nick C right there. Went for the, oh, I was, went for the but, fastball tear. But Numbers held on to his double jump. That's why you've got to keep that thing on you. It's so, it is your lifeblood. You live and die by it. Nixie no. did not have his lifeblood right there. Almost died by it. But yeah, um, really aggressive start from Nixie. Woo! And wow. No knee. Finally gets it. I feel like that there's two two games in the making game that Think, think right about there. it this way. He didn't die for going for it up until now. He whiffed it 20 times. Uh -huh. The 21st time that he found it, it, it hit and it killed. So, so you know what? It's fine. And I bet he'll go for it 20 more times. Because <laughs> honestly, he's, he's, it's working, you know? He just keeps going for the same stuff. And I feel like it's like the no mix-up mix-up almost. And the down B was so smart. Just smacking away head of Just such a big hitbox that you got to contest with. And that would have been death. That would have been the stock. But he hit numbers. Wow. Yeah, I feel like Nixie was just not ready for numbers to just strip SD like that. Uh, got mixed up. Saved his life right there. Still, like, I feel like just nothing deters him. <laughs> he just keeps this forward. You ever momentum. watch Baki? You know, like, that one scene where, like, the guy, like, to, to win a match, he, like, fakes his own death? That was Numbies yeah. with that SD. And it, it, I, I like, I, maybe there's a theory that Numbers did it on purpose. That's there is a theory. But um, oh, right there, landing back fair of back hitbox that we fits fair is insane. Like we can just instantly do F tilt after it. Oh, number is not actually finding the deep breathing. Uh, maybe like a little bit too scary that Nick was gonna be able to get there in time just to be able to smack him for it. That should be the F tilt. It's okay. It's fine. He doesn't take any hits for it. He finds the down tilt. We're gaming. And right there, I like the walk up jab. You never see him do like run up grounded approaches that much, and so. Walk up jab's really good because it's just like such a nice, like safe poke. And oh. that directional air dodge down was so smart. Numbers was not ready for it. He was ready for Nick just to keep on swinging. He wasted that double jump. He did it again. He's going for so much of it. Yeah, Nixie totally like numbers started the stock at 100%. And like now, all, pretty much even right here, this is like going to be so important this offstage interaction. Oh. And it was important no. for numbers right there. Just straight doing an aggressive volleyball. Nixie rarely just staying grounded on stage, not jumping over it, and got put in that tech chase situation. I don't know if there's anything to have done right there once he missed that tech. Excellent coverage. He just sat there, he sat in shield, he was able to react to both neutral, get up, get up attack, um, and roll. That, that spacing was immaculate. There was so little that numbers could have done. He had to alternate just between sitting there. That could have been bad. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. And Nixie, I feel like, yeah, look at this. A bunch of jump aerials right here. Wants to get something started. Numbers running out of that Falcon kick. Was the double jump. That was so smart. All of that was so smart. Had he not been on a platform stage, Nixie was dead C. Mm -hmm. Or at least hit by that down smash. See? Just poked in the eyes, maybe. Oh, Nick wants it. Nick wants it so bad. Okay. Commits a little bit too much. I like that weight with the double jump. Instead of immediately going through the uppy, a lot of people are ready just to like down it. Really good use of the drifting. Nick, every time that he commits off stage, he knows the most out of his options, and Falcon does not have a lot. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Falcon means so good at mixing up the recovery because the one thing Falcon does have going for him off stage is that drift barely missing that. Oh, excellent grab because Nick definitely like wants to go through some, like, some sort of like a funny like jab mix up there. <laughs> I almost killed. Bugs the air dodge. This could be death. <gasps> but that sun salutation. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, I believe it wasn't fully charged, and I feel like it's out of people's minds a lot because most Wii Fits will just fully charge it. So numbers right there realizing like it doesn't matter that it's fully charged, you just have to live. Oh but my deep goodness. off stage. Look at that. That recognition, that bravery, that spacing. <laughs> He like shot like an arrow. As soon as he saw the header come out, he went out there with a, with. That was amazing. That was so good. Yeah, um, like you were saying, shot down there. He was so confident to just yeah, like fast fall. That was so good. He saw it. He was like he was like he saw this. That's all that he needed. But wait, my replay tablet's a little bit funky, so I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go on yours. Boop. He saw this. Yeah. And then immediately shot like an arrow. Uh, oh. This is the beginning of the replay still. God damn it. I'm trying to get the. Okay, oh, we oh, got here there. we go. Okay, here we go. Yes. This fast fall was so good. He was able to put himself into the perfect spacing. Yeah, and there's not much numbers can do there, honestly. You know, it's like when Nixie's like right there, like mm -hmm. you were saying, that perfect spacing, I don't think he could have like hit him with the dare because he was waiting to react. And you can't, if you air dodge that, you're still in such a terrible spot. I feel like Nixie could have definitely killed. So that was just beautiful by Nixie. And I feel like he saved that. I feel yeah. like he saves that for sure. Nick's, Nick's handling of his own character is so amazing because Falcon is slippery. 